What's going on, everybody? Well, I am here to ask you guys a question. I know I don't hardly put out content. I just don't have it um, like I used to when I was in the field. Uh, I've moved on to, I'm not going to say bigger and better things, but I've moved on to, um, as you guys know, I work for a supplier now. I'm tech support for Mitsubishi and Goodman. Uh, 90%, nah, I'm going to say higher than that. 95% of what I do is actually Mitsubishi related, whether it's uh, talking to guys on the phone, doing tech support, or, you know, teaching a two-day class, which is a Mitsubishi certified class, just like you would get if you went to Mitsubishi themselves. Um, so by doing that, I have discovered that uh, there's a big mystery when it comes time to for guys to understand how these things actually work. So I was thinking, I was like, man, I need some more content to put on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any content or put any, any videos out. And so I was like, well, maybe I could just do mini split videos. And I'm not talking about just going out on my unit here. Uh, as you see, I have one right right there. Um, I'm not talking about, well, it would be that unit there. I would tear apart and show different things. Uh, but it would be a lot of the website um, helping you guys take the mystery on, out of these things. You know, how do they actually work? Where is the Japanese magic smoke kept in these boards? Um, like right here, I've got a control board next to me. You know, what happens? What happens when the, you know, where does power come from? Where does it go? You know, this is a control board. Um, this is a control board. So there's power boards and there's noise filter boards and all kind of boards. And there's handheld remotes. There's, you know, there's handheld remotes. There's actual... Uh, controllers, um, the handheld remote to that one over there is over there somewhere. I don't ever use it because I have my MHK1 uh, that's attached to it. Of course, I don't have it mounted to the wall. I just, you know, it's portable for me, so I just set it on the table here. Um, so, anyway, if those type of videos are what you guys would like to see, let me help you, help you, let me help you, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, let me help you take some of the mystery on how, to, how these things actually work and help you um, learn how to diagnose these things. And and uh, there's a ton of information, like I said, we would we'd start at the website couldn't do it all in one video. There's just too much to cover on the website. I could talk about that website for a couple hours, actually. Um, and you wouldn't think so because it's just a website. But there's so much information there. Uh, and then once we leave the, the website, then we'll start talking about, you know, maintenance tool. We'll talk about, you know, the pack tool. We'll talk about, you know, the boards and different error codes and failure mode recalls and function settings and request codes and blah 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 the list goes on um but i'd be i'm more than interested in doing those videos if that's something you guys would actually watch um so anyway if that's something you guys be interested in just let me know and i will take care of it for you y'all have a good one